kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me wow. Well. Renovations. One day, Mommy and Daddy brought home some wallpaper and buckets of paint. Mommy, Daddy, what are you doing with all those things? Daddy and I have decided we're going to finish the attic. We'll make it all nice and cozy. The attic? Really? You mean that we're going to have a new room in the house? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Hey, we can use the attic room for chess tournaments! Ha <laughs> 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 Or dance parties! We can play so many games up there! <laughs> Come on, let's go take a look at the new room! <laughs> huh? It's still the same as before! Cookie, we only just started. First we figure out the plans, then we prepare them. I suggest we bring everything up from the basement so we don't have to run up and down the stairs every time. That's excellent thinking, darling. Little ones, remember to be careful when you go back down the stairs. It looks like we won't have a new room for a long time. Let's help Mommy and Daddy put up the wallpaper. If we hurry, we can do it all before they get back upstairs. Yeah, let's. It doesn't look very hard at all. <laughs> Let me give you some help with that. There, it's not rolled up anymore. It's flat. Now we can stick it to the wall. Uh, oh. Whoa. I accidentally splashed this glue everywhere, and now the floor's been wallpapered. Maybe I can pull some of it up? Oh. Uh. Whoa! These silly, sticky things are way more trouble than they're worth. Well, oh. What if we just used paint on the walls? Yeah, let's. I'm pretty sure we could handle that. Oh. What is happening up here? Mommy, Daddy, we're so sorry. We just thought that we could help speed everything up. We just really wanted to help out. But it really didn't turn out that great. <laughs> Thank you for trying to help, my darlings. But you know, renovations are really tricky. All the preparation is hard, even for us grown-ups. Mommy and I know this very well. It's not our first renovation. I've got a really good idea. If you can teach us how to do all of this, then we can help you. That's a good idea, Candy. But first, you need renovations of your own. Huh? You're all taking a bath right now. After their bath, the kittens help their parents to renovate the attic. Look at that! I thought it was going to take much longer to get all this done. It's all thanks to our students here. Because of your help, we finished much sooner than we expected. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Hmm, but it still sort of feels like there's something missing. Oh, and what's that, oh? darling? Oh. Daddy messed up the wallpaper! Oh no! Now I know what it still needs. Some lovely kitty cat oh. paw prints. <laughs> and that's how the kittens help their parents with renovations and turn the attic into a cozy room for the whole family. Musical instruments. One day, the kittens were watching a TV program about musicians. <laughs> all over the country with this tour already. Thanks for all our fans for supporting us. You rock! Oh, yeah. Being a musician must be the coolest. We should totally start our very own music group. Yay, if we're in a real band, then we can totally
tour the world. Plus, we'll have a lot of real life fans. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. But toy musical instruments don't really work for a proper band. <laughs> the kitty cats decided to borrow musical instruments from their friends. Bo had a violin. Just please be super careful with it. And please don't break the bow either. Keep the bow. I'm not <gasps> using it. I'm going to play it just like I was playing an electric guitar. <laughs> no! Mm -hmm. You cannot play the violin like that. Next, they went to Boris and asked to borrow his tambourine. We're going to need a whole lot of different kinds of drums, so they'll make a bunch of different sounds. Sorry, but I've only got the one tambourine. And what did Cupcake have? Look, I have a keyboard. Hmm. No, wait! I thought you were just going to play it here. I can't just give it to you. It's my mom's. Kittens, why are you so sad? We want to start a musical band, but we don't have any instruments to play. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sure our picnic guitar is here somewhere. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hello, kittens. Mm -hmm. What are you doing down here in the basement? We want to start a band, so Daddy's looking for a guitar for us. Found it! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I found the guitar. Oh, it looks like all its strings are broken. But how can we hope to make a band with a messed up instrument like that? Oh, wait! We can restring the guitar and make it as good as new. Oh, <laughs> Oh, wow! That falling stuff sounded just like a drum set. Well, if you think about it, anything at all can be turned into a musical instrument. Awesome! I have a really good idea. The kitty cats created musical instruments out of different everyday things. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Got two great big fans already. They're me and Daddy. <laughs> and I've repaired all the broken guitar strings as well. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Hey, why don't all of us play something together? One, two, three, four. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, yeah! Meow, 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 meow. Come on, come on! Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> To their resourcefulness and imagination, the kittens formed a great band. Meow, 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 meow. Meow. Daddy Daycare. One day, Mommy was getting ready to go and visit her friend. Daddy will be taking over for me today. So try to be good, all right? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What exactly does that mean? Dad taking over from Mom? Will he put on a pink dress and grow his hair all fluffy and curly? Huh? Oh. Hey. Oh. Ow. Ow. Hey. Oh. Ow. 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 Or will he try to take all of Mommy's fitness classes at the gym? <laughs> None of that. What it means is that instead of Mommy taking care of us, it'll be Daddy. So awesome! Me-wow, 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 me-wow! 
Daddy made the kitty cats their favorite eclairs. That's so good. It's so much better than porridge. It's nice when Daddy fills it for Bobby. Uh huh. <sniffs> ah! And now let's watch TV for a while. Oh! As we enter the 38th hour of the Snow Geese Migration live stream. Um, Dad, don't you have some other things to do? Uh, wait, what? If you're really supposed to be doing what Mommy does, uh, then you should make lunch. And wash all the clothes. And then vacuum the entire house. Uh, does Mommy really do all that? Oh, wow. Okay, then. <laughs> the kitty cats turned on their favorite pirate show, while Daddy made pizza for lunch instead of Mommy, and put all the dirty laundry in the washing machine. <laughs> and tried his best to vacuum the carpets. These effects are great. You can practically smell smoke for real every time they fire their cannons. That's not the show. Something's on fire. Whoa, what's that about? The laundry room is filling up with bubbles, guys. Um, Mom? Wait, it's not Mom, it's Daddy! Daddy! Now what? Oh. oh! There's something burning in the kitchen! Oh. And the laundry room's blowing bubbles! Oh, gosh! Stop! 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 Oh, oh, the pizza! Oh, hot, 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 hot! Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm such a dummy. With the cleaning and the washing, I let the pizza burn. Mom's chores are a whole lot harder to do than they look, huh? This will make Mommy so upset. <laughs> I have a really good idea. Since the chores are really hard, we should help Daddy with them. With the kitty cat's help, Daddy managed to get everything done properly. Meow, have you been watching TV this entire time? No, Mom. We helped Daddy clean all the dirty clothes. And vacuum stuff. And cook the yummy pie, too. Super Daddy, you not only kept the kittens entertained, but you did all of the housework? <laughs> oh, well, isn't that what you'd expect from an excellent Daddy like me? It was like Daddy had turned into Mommy. Everybody had to help me be mommy. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, I must have turned into your daddy, because he never comes home without something yummy with him. Strawberries, yay! So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Daddy and the kitty cats had a fun day pretending to be mommy, but everyone was so happy when the whole family was together again. The cooking show! One morning, Cookie, Candy, and Pudding were working up an appetite with one of Mommy's workout shows. It's breakfast time, little ones. Porridge again. We eat this for breakfast every day. Soon this stuff is going to start coming out of my ears. Porridge is good for you, my darlings. Now you eat that up while I run to this door to see if I can find you some kind of yummy treat. Um. Hmm? Oh. Would you like to eat tasty stuff all the time? Yummy meals that make your family feel sublime? Then you need to start watching my kitty cooking show. Whoa! Guys, we have got to do a cooking show of our very own. Yeah, we could cook the most delicious breakfast in history. And give it to Mommy and Daddy. So, so awesome. awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! So the kitty cats took all their favorite foods out of the fridge. What should we cook for breakfast? Let's make some little pie things. Uh, with jelly. But to make pies, you have to make dough and roll it and stuff. And we have no idea. Oh, how to do it. 
Well, in that case, we should make some sausage pudding. But we're too young to use the oven and we don't know how. Porridge is actually starting to look pretty good. If we can't cook, then maybe we shouldn't do a cooking show. I mean, I'm just saying. I have a really good idea. We should make a salad. All you have to do to make a salad is put stuff together in a bowl, right? <laughs> Ooh. So the kitty cats made a salad out of cheese, fish, cream, jam, and fruit. Oh, what are my little ones doing? Mommy, we're putting on our own cooking show. We made the most delicious salad in the history of forever and ever. You are just in time for the part where everybody tastes it. Interesting. Worrying, but interesting. Daddy woke up just in time. Hey, good morning, family. Ooh, what's for breakfast? <laughs> A special cooking show from our kittens. Welcome, wonderful viewers. <laughs> Enjoy our salad a la kitty cat. Um. 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 Mm. Well, well, pretty good for a first try, I guess. What on earth are we eating? Yeah, this is horrible. Well, horrible doesn't cover it. But how come our salad is so disgusting? All of the stuff that we put into it is real yummy. Fish and sugar, cream and bananas. Pickles and sausages and ketchup and jam. And a bunch of my very favorite cheese. <laughs> An unusual mixture, to say the least. <laughs> Mixing is good, but picking things that go together well is the most important thing to remember. You see, now it doesn't work if you're just tossing in everything you like at the same time. I've got an idea. Why don't we have a healthy breakfast of porridge? Yeah, I'd love to have porridge, too. Yeah, turns out making your very own cooking show makes you really hungry. Uh-huh. Porridge coming right up. I'll just, uh, deal with this and... Welcome, dear viewers. Try our Five Cats Yum special porridge. <laughs> <laughs> What's more, we have here some nice jelly, honey, Raisins, nice nuts, and sun-dried fruit that you can add to it and make it even yummier. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Just like that, porridge became a scrumptious breakfast, with the kitty cats able to create their very own special porridge delights. Hockey. One day, the kitty cats decided to play ice hockey. So, we'll have Dart be the goalie, and I'm going to be center. I'll be a defender cat. And I'll probably only be in the way. <gasps> Why would you say that, dear? I'm not good at playing team sports. Remember when we played soccer? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pudding, catch! <laughs> wow, thank you! And remember when I tried volleyball? Uh, 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 we need to play as well. Pudding, you have to pass the ball to one of us. I'm perfectly sure that this time Pudding will play the game very well. I'll come with you and cheer really loud like a cheerleader. <gasps> so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Look, 
a goal. No, but I'll score a goal now. <laughs> Look at him go! your own team. Oh, no. Uh... I'm just terrible at team sports. It's better for everyone if I don't even try to play. My darling kitten, don't be so sad. <laughs> Come on, remember you're a really great chess player, just like your mom. We are a two-cat chess team. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy. Hey! I think from now on, I should only play sports I feel confident at. <laughs> Oh, wow, those are some amazing reflexes. You'd be a perfect goalie, Pudding. I have a really good idea. Pudding took the place of goalie, and Dart was happy, as he wanted to chase the puck anyway. Ah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Thanks, guys. I feel really confident as the goalie, too. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Everyone has a place on a team. You just have to find the spot that feels right for you. Junior archaeologists. The kittens and mustard were watching a TV show about archaeology, digging up the past. A very long time ago, primitive tribes used to live on this very spot. Look here. The ground below us is sure to be full of interesting stuff from way back in time. Are you working on the dig all by yourself? Yes, I'm afraid so. You see, not many cats want to be archaeologists. Most cats don't have the patience, and they'd rather just watch TV all the time. I feel sorry for the archaeologist. Hey, should we go and help with this search for ancient things? Hey, yeah, it'll be just like we're looking for treasure. What fun! I wouldn't miss this. What if I found something valuable? That settles it. Let's dig like real archaeologists. Awesome! Wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. My my, darling, it looks like you've got some fun plans for the weekend. Huh? The next morning, Daddy bought the kittens special pith helmets and drove them to the dig. Ooh. A lot of space to dig. We got here too early. The archaeologist is probably still sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even been to bed. So, good morning. How can I help you? Good, Good morning, morning sir. sir. These youngsters have decided to become archaeologists, so they came up here to help you dig up ancient things. That's just excellent. Are you ready to work very hard and be extremely patient? Mm -hmm. Well, then you can start on plot three. Mm -hmm. I haven't dug over there yet. Awesome! Good luck there, young fella. <laughs> 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 The kittens dug patiently for a long time, but didn't find anything. I bet there wasn't ever an ancient tribe living here, and there's no treasure to be found either. Uh, you may be right. 
Who knows? The old archaeologist knows there's something down here. He wouldn't be working that hard if there was nothing to find. Let's all dig in different places. If we try that, surely one of us will find some treasure. This time the kittens did find a lot of stuff, but none of it turned out to be ancient at all. Well, I was right. Nothing valuable to dig up here. But we just need to be patient, like real archaeologists. I don't want to dig. I want to nap. How about we take turns digging? Then we'll not get so tired. <laughs> I'm not digging anymore. I want to go home. I'm exhausted. I'm with her. I'm bored with digging in the dirt. Probably time we all thought about heading home. Everyone's tired. But we're archaeologists. What happened to your patience, guys? It's, it's run, run out. out. Well, I've got lots left, and I don't feel like giving up. <laughs> oh, looks like you found something interesting. <laughs> something ancient, right? Let me look at what you've dug up there. Whoa! This is indeed a vase from an ancient tribe. Isn't it just beautiful? This is a remarkable find, my junior archaeologists. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thanks to the kittens and daddy, and especially thanks to Candy's patience, the local museum got an exciting new exhibit. Squabbling kitties. One day, Daddy suggested that the kittens play a board game. Look at this, kittens. Ah. And this game can be played by several players at once. There's no way that you could get bored with it. Mommy and Daddy have some things to take care of, but you can play the game together in the meantime. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Okay, I'll take the first turn. But Cookie, you go first every time. Let me be first for once. No fair, I never get to go first. Let me. But I'm faster, so I should be first. Oh. <laughs> me, I'm first. <laughs> 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 the kittens didn't want to let each other go first. <laughs> Woohoo! That was awesome! All right, it's your turn. Well, I'm done. I am not going to play with you anymore. I'm not either. Is that right? Well, in that case, I'm not playing with you two. So I'm going outside to play with my ball. The kittens thought that they would be happier without their siblings. I'm going to have so much more time to make wonderful dresses for my dollies. I'll come up with my own fashion collection and everyone will love, love, love it. And I'll become a great fashion designer. <laughs> now I can devote myself completely to science and study cool stuff like plants and mushrooms. And I'll go everywhere in the world and discover all kinds of awesome things. Oh. <laughs> now I'll have lots more time to practice soccer. I'll become the captain of a famous team. Then we'll win the world championship. Ah, and win a giant trophy. <laughs> But then, the kittens realized that something was missing. Oh, I really wish Cookie and Pudding were here to see this. Yeah, I really wish I could share this with my brother and sister. Celebrating a win with Pudding and Candy would be just so awesome.
What are you doing? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to take a look at the game board. Oh. Um, are you having fun all by yourself? Sure, it's awesome. The most fun ever, ever. I'm having all the fun in the world. Huh? Boris came over to huh? visit the kittens. Who's there? It's Boris. Hi, Hi there, there, Boris. Hi, guys. Boris, come play a game with me. No, come play with me, Boris. We'd have way more fun if you played with me. Why don't we all play it together? We decided that we're never playing together again. Because someone always wants to be the one that plays first. Yeah, or getting offended by everything. We were fighting the whole time. I don't have any brothers or sisters at home, so I came to play with all of you, but you're fighting. Boris, don't leave. Let's all play together. I'll even let you be the one to play first. Can I play? I'm really tired of just sitting alone. I agree. I've got a really good idea. We should stop fighting over stuff and play together instead. <laughs> Looks like the game is at full swing. Have you got room there for two more players? <gasps> Your father and I would be very happy to play the game with you. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats realized that it's not that important if you go first or if you win as long as your friends and family are with you. Snowy slopes and snowboards. One snowy morning, the kitty cats couldn't wait to get outside and ride their sleds and play on their slide. Oh, good morning, darling kittens. Where are you headed this early? Out sledding and sliding. But it had snowed all night long, and the slide was completely covered. Well, let's just ride our sleds down the slope that the slide made. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> awesome time! <laughs> but their sled sank right down into the loose snow. This is much harder than sliding on our slide. Hey, I think I can see it under here. <laughs> let's dig it out then, all right? It'll be easy. Let's do this! But digging out the slide turned out to be harder than they thought. <laughs> It'll be summer before we're done with this. Daddy! Yeah. Daddy! Will you dig the slide out from the snow with us? Yeah, I'd be happy to. As soon as I finish watching this exciting snowboard show. And number three is shredding and speeding his way down the slope. What a run! Oh, wow! I want to snowboard on our slide! Eh, a snowboard requires a much larger slope. Our slide just isn't big or safe enough. Well, at the moment, we haven't got a slide at all. Mommy! 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 Can you help us dig out our slide from under the snow? I'm sorry, my darlings. I'm late for the gym. If the snow is covering the slide, why don't you play, uh, something else? But the kitty cats didn't want to play something else. I heard that if you put salt on snow, the snow will totally melt. What if the salt melted the slide, too? Well, maybe we should just get a bulldozer. Our slide would be out of the snow in no time. I think a bulldozer would clear away more than just the snow. Hey, hey our, our slide! slide! Then we need to make a snowball that's truly, really huge. Then roll it down the slide to clean off the snow. What, what a, a great, great idea! idea. Now that is an impressive ball of snow. All that's left is for us to roll it down. And push, and push, and go. <laughs> Who's there? Hmm, that's strange. No one's here. Aww. Now the slide was covered in more snow than ever. Even a bulldozer couldn't dig our slide out of that enormous mountain. <laughs> I have a real 
very good idea. Can I get a little help up here? Hey, that's Daddy's snowboard. It turned out Daddy's snowboard was perfect for riding on loose snow. <laughs> oh, wow! Uh, oh, wow! <laughs> My class at the gym was canceled, but riding with you looks more fun. Excuse me. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Ha! <laughs> 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 now, this gigantic hill is perfect for snowboarding. <laughs> Just let that daddy cat show you how it's done. <laughs> Snowy slopes can be a mountain of fun, but they're even better when the whole family plays on them together. Very early one morning, Daddy tiptoed through the house to sneak out the front door. Daddy! <laughs> Where are you going so early? It's Mommy's birthday today, Daddy. Did you forget? Ah, uh, I would never ever forget Mommy's birthday, you know. But I left her present back at my office at work. I just need to slip out and pick up the present, then we can all wish her happy birthday. Wait for me, okay? So, so awesome! <gasps> Shh! Don't wake up, Mommy. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> the kitty cats were giving Mommy a beautiful drawing they made. It's the prettiest picture ever. What do you think Daddy's birthday present for Mommy is? Well, he said he left the present at his office, and his office is in the middle of a candy factory. I'm guessing it's a yummy cake of some sort. But Daddy brings cake home from work every weekend. And a birthday present is supposed to be special, Pudding. But you know, a cake can be awesome and special. For instance, you could put a letter inside it. What if Mommy accidentally ate the letter, though? Oh. <laughs> you could also hide some fireworks inside a cake so they could fly up and go kaboom! <laughs> But what if it goes wrong and doesn't fly up? Daddy should give her something really special to go with the cake. Something Mommy's really fond of. Mommy's fond of sports. And Mommy's fond of pink clothes. And Mommy thinks flowers are the best. Hey, let's pick a bouquet of pretty flowers. Then Daddy can give them to her as a present. <gasps> but the kitty cats had forgotten that Mommy's birthday was in the autumn. Still, they didn't give up. They looked everywhere for flowers. They looked... and looked. But pretty flowers just don't grow in the autumn. No flowers. What do we do now? <laughs> Daddy can't just give Mommy a cake and nothing else. Hmm. Oh, I think I have a really good idea. What if we made a bouquet from different fallen leaves? Because they're really colorful and pretty, aren't they? The kitty cats couldn't wait for Mommy to see the beautiful autumn bouquet. Good morning, everyone. <gasps> morning. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Nothing behind, behind our backs. <laughs> We're waiting to give you your presents until Daddy gets back, all right? Daddy gets back? Where did he go? <laughs> Where's the birthday girl? I have her present right here. <gasps> hey, guys, that's not a cake box. It's a beautiful pink tracksuit. And pretty shoes as well. Yeah, it's all the things you're fond of in one gift. Sports, clothes that are pink colored, and pretty flowers. Oh, darling, thank you so very much. What a perfect present for Mommy. Guess we don't need this bouquet anymore then. 
We still need it, Pudding. We'll give it to Mommy with our present. Love, Love you, Mommy. Mommy. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Time for your birthday presents. First, there's this picture that we drew for you. <laughs> then this leaf bouquet. Oh, thank you, my little sweeties. Look at them. These are the most wonderful presents that I've ever received. So awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Daddy had also brought a yummy cake, of course. And Mommy blew out her candles. But she couldn't think of anything to wish for that she didn't already have. The Quiet Game. One day, Mommy sat down to work on her new kids' fashion designs. Mommy! We want to build a pirate ship out in the yard. To play sea adventures and stuff. That's a great idea. Uh, show it to me when you're finished building it. But we need some things like boxes, tape, and rope, and uh, lots of stuff we haven't thought of. Oh. Mommy helped the kitty cats find what they needed and helped them carry it to the garden. But she could still hear the kittens outside. We'll build it here. No, over there. And she couldn't concentrate. This pirate ship was my idea. But I drew what it'll look like. And I thought up how to build it, you know. Yeah, and? Kittens. Why don't the three of you play the quiet game? The, the quiet, quiet game? game? Yes. The kitten who can stay silent the longest is the winner. And I'll make the winner their very own flag to put on the ship. Oh, that's great. Just be sure to put a star on my flag after I win. I want a flower on mine. A mushroom for me. Okay, now shh. The quiet game has now started. So after that, the first kitten to say anything would lose the game. The kitty cats kept working on their shipbuilding. But it turned out to be much harder without words. Pudding suggested to Cookie that they build the mast out of old skis. But Cookie thought that Pudding wanted to go skiing. And it was summertime. Cookie tried to show Pudding that it was summer. You can't ski on the grass. But then Pudding thought Cookie wanted to ski. Cookie and Pudding tried to understand what candy meant. Was she saying they could ski on the sheet instead of snow? Or did she want to play ghosts? Or maybe she wanted to make a big painting. <sighs> At last it was clear. Candy was saying that the sheet would make a great sail. Only the kittens would need to ask Mommy's permission. Ha! Uh-uh. But none of them wanted to talk and lose the quiet game. The wind almost carried the sheet into a puddle. They all knew what they should do was call Mommy. Who would be the first to talk and lose the game? <sighs> At last, my work's all finished. Mommy! Help! Oh, Mommy! Oh. 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 The laundry was saved. Mommy! But it looked like all three kittens had lost the game. Okay, it's time to decide what's going to be on your flag. A flower, mushroom, or star? But didn't we all lose the game? We all broke the quiet game rules when we called you. Which means all three of us lost the game. But you all did the right thing. You went ahead and built your boat quietly. And you only talked to stop an accident from happening. So I consider all three of you winners. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The quiet game turned out to be a lot of fun for the kitty cats. 
And not only did Mommy make them a very special flag, but she let them use the sheet as a sail for their boat, too.